half a day and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it truly is uh, a blessing to be here this afternoon to present Resolution 65-36-COR. And joining me this afternoon for that is our Acting Vice Speaker uh, and Legislative Secretary, Senator Amanda Shelton, and also Senator Tony Ada. Thank you so very much, Senators, for joining me this afternoon. Uh, and to the listening audience in Guam, um, this is truly an honor to present this resolution to a very young man who's really, really going, I think he's really surprised because he had no, no idea that he was going to be here. So I want to take the time to thank the Council General, uh, the new Council General, uh, Council General uh, Adelina, who I call uh, Council General Ena Jose, and of course you, uh, former Council General Vic April, this resolution uh, is in your honor for all the work and contributions you've done to the people of, for the people of Guam and to even our people in Palau. And as honorary Palauan, I always say that my heart is in both places. So at this time, I would like to ask former Council uh, General uh, Vic April to please join me up here and also the Council General, the new Council General, Council General Adelina Anna Jose, to please join me here. <laughs> I'm going to highlight uh, a lot. Uh, literally, ladies and gentlemen, this resolution is two pages long. And I, I really wanted to make this a very special gift to my brother Vic, who I've known since I was a very, very young girl on the baseball diamond. This man was, was for me personally, uh, he was my idol. Uh, he was a very humble, quiet man, always smiling. But more importantly, his job, he had a really big job, and he represented both Guam and Palau very well. So uh, yes, give him a round of applause. He truly deserves that. So thank you, uh, Council General Adelina Jose, for as well as the Palau community of Guam for helping me put this together this afternoon. And today, on behalf of, of the people of Guam and the Guam legislature, I'm honored to recognize an important member of not just the Palau community, but a distinguished member of Guam's community, Mr. Vic April, my Palawan Chamorro brother. Resolution 65-36COR, introduced by myself, um, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, um, Acting Vice Speaker, uh, Legislative Secretary Amanda Shelton, and of course, Senator Tony Ada, and the rest of the members of the 36th Guam Legislature. And it's relative to recognizing the Honorable Victorino, Victorano Vic April, for his work as Council General of the Republic of Palau Consulate Office in Guam and commending him for his exemplary service and contributions to the island of Guam. Mr. April's accomplishments on Guam and the Pacific are too numerous that it required two full pages. But it's important that Mr. April's work on Guam is well documented for posterity so that his contributions to Guam and the region will be appreciated and recognized during future generations. Resolution 56-36, Council General Vic April was born on November 2nd, 1954, and he grew up on Nagrulong, Babaldal, Palau. He uh, is married to Loretta, R R Rodello, April, and has three children, Melani, Stefan, and Mariah. You said that right, right? Yeah. Are any one of them here today? <laughs> um, Council General Vic is an alumnus of the University of Guam, receiving his bachelor's in anthropology in 1980 and a master's of arts in Micronesian studies, also from the University of Guam. In 2001, with his thesis topic entitled Comparative Study of Latte Quarries in the Marianas, 
Council General April began his 31-year career in archaeology at the Department of Parks and Recreation Historic Resources Division, working his way up from Archaeological Technician 1 to becoming the state archaeologist. Throughout his career, Mr. April was dedicated to, prever to preserving and unearthing the history of Micronesia. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1980, he assisted Lori Lucking on her PhD study in the prehistoric Palawan terraces. Mr. April was instrumental in the ar archaeological investigation and documentation of numerous historical sites on Guam, including Talagi Pictograph Cave in Taragi, Guam. Additionally, he oversaw the data recovery of three World War II tunnels in Malakal Koror, Republic of Palau. Mr. April has been nominated for the Top 10 Employees of the Year Award in the Professional Biological Physical Science and Related Fields in 1990 and in 1997. Mr. April was deeply respected on Guam and Palau and was selected to lead the Palau Consulate Office in Guam, serving on a part-time basis from 2002 to 2004. Mr. April served on a full-time basis from 2014 to 2021, representing Palau and Guam, where he was instrumental in helping to secure a lease with the government of Guam to build a cultural and community space for the Palauan community. Additionally, he often took time to give lectures and lend his insight in archaeology, as well as the challenges and accomplishments of many Palauans who have made Guam their home. Mr. April is an avid sportsman with a career spanning four decades and bringing home medals from international sports competition. Council General April competed and coached in various sports, including tennis, baseball, softball, table tennis, and volleyball. And he has represented the Palawan community and Guam at the regional and international levels. Notably, Council General represented Guam in tennis at the 1987 sixth annual Western Invitational Tennis Tournament, the eighth and ninth South Pacific Games in Nomea, New Caledonia, and Papua New Guinea, gold medalist and the second Micronesian Games in the CNMI, and he coached for the third Micronesian Games in Guam in baseball. Well, in baseball, he was a member of the Guam Major League and Guam Masters baseball team, winning a total of two gold, three silver, and two bronze in regional competitions. He was a certified level one baseball coach, coaching the Guam national baseball team for the 2005 South Pacific mini games, as well as the Palau team on Guam at the 2005 Budweiser Baseball League. He also coached the 2006 micro games held in Saipan, receiving a silver. In softball, he coached the Blue Shark softball, a Palauan league in Guam, winning 10 pennants and five championships. Council General Vic April was a member of the UOG ta table tennis team and the University of Guam volleyball team where they advanced to one championship at, as first runner-up. Council General was recognized on April 4, 2000 for receiving an honorable mention for the Masters of the Millennium Guam's Outstanding Athlete of the 20th Century for baseball and tennis. Council General April's contribution to the island of Guam are immeasurable in serving as a representative of the Republic of Palau, as well as the state archaeologist for the island of Guam, preserving and protecting Guam's history. And Council, Gen and Council General April serves as an inspiration to many on Guam for fostering lasting friendships and bonds between the people of Palau and our people of Guam. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Committee of Rules of the Imina Chintai Sais Nales Laturan Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the Les Laturan Guan and our people of Guam, 
recognize the Honorable Victoriano Vic April for his work as Council General of the Republic of Palau, Consulate Office in Guam, and commend him for his exemplary service and contributions to the island of Guam, and be it further resolved that the speaker and the chairperson of the committee on rules certify and that the legislative secretary attest to the adoption whereof, and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the Honorable Victoriano Vic April, to the Honorable Surangal S. Whips, Jr., President of the Republic of Palau, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero, Imagahalahan Guahan. Ladies and gentlemen, this resolution was duly and regularly adopted by the Committee on Rules of the 36th Guam Legislature on the 7th day of June, 2021. And I'm going to ask that our Legislative Secretary and Acting Vice Speaker today, and of course, if Senator uh, Tony Ada can come here and hold this second part of this resolution, and I'll have them do the official uh, presentation to Council General Vic April. You know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part in time where we usually give the recipient, the awardee, the, an opportunity to speak. And before I do that, I'm just going to ask the new council general just to say a few words to the Palawan community of Guam and just to congratulate the former uh, council general because uh, she has big shoes to fill, but he, every step of the way, has been here to guide our new Council General of Palau. So, Council General, say please. Well, half a day, everybody. Thank you, Palauans, for showing up on this special occasion for Vic. And I know he's going to kill me when we get out of here because he had no idea that he was coming here to do this. <laughs> but honestly, it's an honor to have Vic as a Council General for Palau the past, uh, I say, seven years. So. Yes. And it is an honor to, uh, you know, had to be guided by him throughout the process that I'm going through. And with that, I'm grateful for him. And I like to say that I wasn't born when he started this <laughs> show. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot for me to learn from him. But yes, thank you and thank you, Vic. It really is an honor to have known you. Thank you, thank you everybody. <laughs> Um, Senator Tony, would you like to say a few words? And then the Legislative Secretary and then Vic. Honorable Vic, though you had two pages of resolutions, I don't think there is enough whereas there <laughs> to list down all the accomplishments that he has done, not just as the Council General for the Republic of Palau, but also as a friend and a brother to the people of Guam. Vic has contributed so many, so many of his hours, his personal time, in building the relation between Palau and Guam. And it's something that has forged into this bond that we have together with one another. Vic, in so many ways, this simple token is what we can give to you. But always know in our heart that all that you have done, all that you have accomplished, does not go unrecognized and is always greatly appreciated. Congratulations on your retirement, but always know that we are here should you ever need anything from us. Thank you, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I don't know what else can be said. Uh, your very long list of accomplishments, many medals, uh, many gold uh, winnings at all of these games, it's very impressive, but most especially, uh, the service that you've given to the people of Guam and to the people of Palau. You've had a very heavy responsibility to represent your people here, to take care of them here. And we're so grateful for the relationships that we've built. I think that I have seen you at uh, every single function over the last 
uh, several years. You've been a, you know, a pillar in our community here representing the people of Palau. And so we're very grateful for your friendship and all that you've done. And uh, we will continue to enjoy many more years of friendship with you and wish you the best uh, in this next chapter of your life. So situ asmasi. Council General Vic, please. <laughs> he didn't know this was coming. <laughs> you know, if there's anybody that can hide uh, the secret or surprise, <laughs> it's you. Because, you know, I am really surprised by this. But uh, anyway, thank you so very much. I'm really honored uh, uh, to be here with you and to receive these uh, awards and, and uh, many good words that you have said to me. Thank you so very much. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah, I've been here so long, and I've met so many good people like this. No, I was here before she was born. <laughs> you know, I know, uh, I know, I know his dad. He was my uh, director at one time, and uh, I know, yeah, yes. and I know uh, Talina Nelson. Yes. Yeah, she, she, I was here before she was born. And, and I was here when she was very little, you know. And so, yeah, that's how old I am, you know. I'm, I'm too old, but, uh, yeah, I'm so uh, thankful uh, for the relationship that uh, Guam and Palau has built over the years. And, and I'm very sure it will continue to grow and, and, and we are going to continue to uh, look after each other and take care of each other for the many years to come. So. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for the good friendship. And uh, yes, uh, I never, I never forget to say uh, many thanks to Guam, the people of Guam, and the United States of America for, you know, for so many years, uh, many of our citizens uh, were here trying to better themselves in a not so legal way. But now, uh, like I said, thank you so much. Uh, we're here uh, in uh, legally work and stay and appreciate the many opportunities. So thank you very much. 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 Thank um, Guam and Palau and never forgetting his, his grassroots where his heart is but also having the love for our island of Guam as an island boy so uh, to all the baseball fans out there the table tennis, the volleyball and all those who know Vic April as, as their brother uh, we're, it's bittersweet but his heart and, and soul is still loving both, both Guam and, and Palau so we wish you the very best God bless on Dunklu, on Dunklu na Sidzuus Masi, and Sidzuus on Bini DC. May so long. Yeah. Thank you very much. That will conclude our resolution presentation, and we'll do official photos right now. Thank you. <laughs>